Holy, there is a lot of yap, 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 yap. And I hear today's episode is even more yappy. A lot of, you know, Tensor fans are going to be upset, but the true fans actually do enjoy it because the world building, the politics is what makes the foundation of the show and what makes the pop-off moments even better. What was the most important things we learned last episode? We learned about Hinata's backstory, but also the revelation of these existence called the angels and how Luminous seems to be tied down by the angels and they have to just obey them. But Luminous calls them flying insects, implying that there is some hatred there and maybe we could do an alliance with Luminous and with the humans and you know, the demi monsters and we can do like an all out war against the fucking heaven at some point. Is that like the end game content? Some other stuff that was really important was the existence of the greatest hero of Ingracia, Masayuki. Flash? Light flash or something? Light speed? This guy's getting hyped the fuck up. I hope y'all are like not trolling me with this because the amount of glazing, the amount of hype right now is more than Diablo worshiping Rimuru in chat, guys. I really hope Masayuki's hype. When is he going to show up? Fucking season four or something? I don't know. Let's begin today's episode, though. Peaceful days. GG. Settle affairs with who? Oh, all the claim. <laughs> they have to do it. That's the least out of me Sophia could do after we clutch for them. No, I think her calculations are better and Raphael has gotten so much more wittier and sassier with the jokes, bro. Now, you know what I realized? We have the existence of angels, these flying insects. But Raphael is also a name of an angel. Now, there is no chance that Raphael is an angel because Raphael has been evolved from the Great Sage into Raphael. And I'm sure it's just a coincidence that we have an angel's name. But why an angel's name? We also have, you know, the devil stuff, right? Beelzebub, right? Ultimate skill. But, like, why the devils... If, an angel, if angels do exist, then devils also have to exist? Is this, like, season, like, 10 content? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Oh shit! Midray, the guy that said, I can take Milamon. Pressure. He just threatened them. Yeah, they'd have no land anymore. Alright, we got we got plenty of space in Tempest, right? We can take him. Yeah, now that everyone's pretty much serving it in there, right? Yes. And she just accepts so easily. Okay, we're taking over the leftovers, the remnants of the war. What else are we doing? Rimuru does nothing. They would. And this is the thing about, like, big companies. The CEOs, they don't really need to be there sometimes. Because, like, who's doing the actual fucking work? The employees. Geld is doing it. Benimar is doing it. Shuna's doing it. I don't know if Shion's doing it. Rigor is doing it. If Rimuru wasn't here... It wouldn't make a fucking difference because they're so autonomous. But Rimuru had to be there in the beginning for them to already be here. Ah, oh, you should be happy. You have like fully functioning autonomous, you know, brains that can handle everything. Can Rimuru just copy these coins and print it? He should be able to. We can just control... Control C, Control V. So we like we could just like copy these coins. All of the king's savings almost. Alright, there's some rivalry going on within the, the, the other king, right? Yes, the brother, the brother. Okay. How are we gonna handle those idiots? Bro has been basically exiled. Get out of here. Near Yom as well. So we're gonna really protect this guy, huh? This is the average Tensura watcher that only watches for the hype scenes. Ooh. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, 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 at least the show is like self-aware enough to realize that yes, we do a lot of yapping. There's a lot of different shits going on, right? So if you don't understand, Shion is there to represent you. I'm struggling too, to be honest. <laughs> suffer as little as possible, <laughs> but they still need to suffer. <laughs> but I couldn't. <laughs> Let Diablo fight, please! Diablo unleashed! No! God fucking damn it. When is the next time he's actually gonna fucking fight, dude? And not even like a, a fight where he has to nerf himself like against Ramen. An actual fight where he goes all out. That shit's never gonna happen! She, uh, she was a little hot-tempered. The bald guy. Yeah, him. He's pretty useful. Uh-oh. We should... Someone should go with him. The church thinks it's a bit sussy. What? You want to just confront? What? What is... Let's put a message in this. Is it like a messaging ball? You just put a message in there? What is that? When was the last time we see this? This looks like a crystal ball where you look at the fucking future or something. The message ball. It'll basically... If I say something to it, the ball will say something out. It's like a recording device. It's, it's a recording device. The Clayman B. Ah, the smartphone meta like in Classroom of the Elite, right? Yes. It's a smartphone meta. I was recording all this time, bitch! <laughs> Gopta! Dub, Gopta getting lines. Let's go. Good job, guys. Boing. Yeah, 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 fuck Phobio, I hate Phobio, fuck Phobio still. <laughs> the other Kijin that I always forget about because he has no fucking screen time or dialogue. What is his name again? I cannot believe I still don't know his fucking name. Does it start with the T? I know Kaijin. I know the other fucking Dwargo brothers. Kurobe. No, this guy's not Ranga. Ga ga Gabiru Kazuma. Midray is cracked though. Midray's actually kind of hype. Is this foreshadowing? It's not like you're weak. You'll get there one day. Is Gabiru about to ascend to fucking like godhood, bro? Like, I don't know. Oh, letter? What is she write? Can she even write? Dragon Priest? Okay, so they can make her good food. Hermes. Hermes was the other guy beside you, Gabiru. Yeah, him. Beside Midray. The Dragon Priest are actually so chill. It's just like fucking rations. The food they serve to Lady Miriam is not cooked or prepared in any way. They live a very modest life. Sounds like they're a bunch of fucking unga boonga people. Is that why it was so easy to bait Miriam with the honey? Right? Because you know, the, the honey has some crazy medicinal properties in the visions of Coleus. Now that I think about it, Miriam has tasted nothing but fucking just like raw food and just disgusting shit. The honey must have been fucking cracked. It's like give, it's like going back in time and giving a caveman like Mountain Dew. Like imagine like their brains, they could not handle the stimulation. <laughs> yes. Supreme being Gabiru, sure. Do it? Okay. Cool fact about the dragon newts. Oh, you're telling me that if I find a good tasting food and I eat it, then I want more good tasting food? Crazy revelations happening right now. Holy shit, dude. All right. All right. Will Gabiru ever have like a humanoid husbando form? 
Cause like, what was the difference between the dragon priest and dragon, uh, reaching dragon newts? The dragon priest were humans that evolved into dragon newts, while Gabiru is a lizard man that evolved into dragon newt. Now, coincidentally, all the girl lizards turn into humanoids because you know they gotta be waifus but all the guys are remaining as lizards now just because you reach a humanoid form it doesn't mean like you're more powerful or superior but could you imagine like a gabiru fucking like husbando mode i don't know man things are booming in jura tempest muran never mind guilt guilt what's going on big bro you get rejected Okay. Because it's too hard right now what you're doing. Wait! The the orcs can communicate through thought they have like telepathy between the other orcs? What the fuck? So basically the high orcs are so much superior than these filthy fucking, you know, Lycanthros and Majin who can't even fucking telepathy. You're talking right now! Skelet is having troubles with like logistics, leadership, you know, organizing people. <laughs> yeah, just drink your problem away. Honestly, sometimes it is best to like not think about the problem that you're stuck on and just like walk away, release some stress and then get back to it the next day. Okay. Any fu- <laughs> I don't know why I got excited about Eddie f there. I don't know. I saw this and it just reminded me of that Eddie f bar in Dorgon. <laughs> Trini has a bar? Wait, what? Is she even has a trainer? Trini is a bartender now? What the fuck? Haruna is working. Yo, the Goblina. I can see it right there. It's Haruna again. This is Slime Diary content? Got it, got it. Relax, bro. Relax. Just drink your problems away. Oh, I couldn't recognize Rimuru there for a second from behind. Because his hair? I've never seen it like this. Rimuru has his hairs in a braid like this. When was the last time he had a braid like this? The time that he dressed up for Eurozania? When the diplomats are coming over? That's me. I fuck up all the time at work. Wait, in Slime Diaries, did they figure out some kind of specific alcohol that can get Rimuru actually drunk? Because, like, he has, like, poison resistance now, right? But with, like, dryad powers, they've obtained the finest nectar of the finest tree or something. And it's so potent that it can even get Rimuru drunk. Probably not. Oh, Geld! Geld! Oh, Geld also has that. Uh, Mirimir, is he around? Better not fuck with us. We're part of the Octogram. Oh. Erif, more Erif. So this is Eren's dad, right? So Eren was like a princess, right? And the dad, emperor, wife. This is his wife, right? So this is Eren's mom, right? We see in the opening. Oh shit! The dad is just a duke, and this is not the wife. Got it. Got it. Princess of a duke. Okay, I thought that she was like the crown princess of this, you know, Tarion place. But okay, okay, okay. There's a separate empress and an emperor. Cool, cool. She, she should come over, bro. They're so scared of the... They're so scared of road being built to our place for trade, man. Benny and Soe are doing the road inspections. Man, it is crazy how detailed they're going with this episode in terms of everything we're doing the fall off from the war where the refugees and the prisoners of war are going how every different place in our you know in jura tempest has a specific place for different you know people they're all working on specific things right even talking about the trade routes being established diablo with the church there's just so fucking much detail it's just like straight up is it a direct one-to-one -one light novelty like anime bro they are really not skipping anything. The adaptation of this is kind of cracked. Kusha Mountains. Who's there? 
There's a, there's a Tengu? That's some mythological shit from Japan. What the? Okay. Even Sky Queen! Frey, he doesn't fuck around with Tengu, really? Okay, they're hyping up Mr. Tengu here. Maybe he's a funny person later? Alright, go ahead, Benny. <laughs> Benny and Arabis? Oh, wait, 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 wait! Yeah, but Gupta's the one that saved Arvis, bro. Remember? Against the Yamza guy? Who was there? Not Benny. Benny was too busy using Hail Flare on everything. Gupta was there. My man Gupta should get Arvis, but all right. Benny and Arvis, let's go. Hey, what's going on, Benny? You like that snake sussy? <laughs> <laughs> but that, we, we, you're talking as if Benny was a fucking potential love me. What are you talking about, Shion? <laughs> okay, not sexually related. Not sexually related. Mm -hmm. Alright, he trusts him enough. Yo, who's Soe's girl's gonna be? Is Soe fucking Gabiru's sister? The Kunoichi is? I bet Soe's too cool to get girls, bro. So he's probably the type to be like, hmm, I am the shadow. <laughs> I do not need girls. I don't know. I feel like so he's a little bit tuny like that, maybe. Maybe he gets no girls. He's just like awkward actually around girls. Who knows? Meeting time. Bakuro. He was doing cleanup. そう。そう。クレイマンの支配地だ。ダークエルフ。ダークエルフ。ジスターブの地には Ancient Kingdom. Does this have plot relevance for the future and how it like interacts with the angels and stuff? I don't know. Ancient Kingdoms. Because like even in like One Piece, right? Like Skypea, I'm getting off topic right now, but like that shit had huge fucking endgame revelations, right? So like ancient kingdoms, ruins, when the angel like who was the origin race here? Before when the angels were I don't know, you know, it, it gets the brain kind of moving. <laughs> Clayman basically looted from ancient ruins and got rich. That have been actually found though. Meaning there's more secret ones. It's actually some important plot stuff. My man Gopta has a seat on the exec council, bro. Gabiru and Rigor over here, right? Gopta, uh, fucking Vesta, Hakuro, Rigor. Gil, Soe, Benny, Kurobe so fucking high up! And Veldora, just reading manga as usual. And then the most, you know, the biggest meat riders are right beside Rimuru with Ranga on the side. And Veldora is always, you know, chilling on the side of the couch. What are you reading? Okay, entire great forest. Why are they all shocked? Because the forest is fucking huge, right? Even like the portion that we know is like insignificant in the grand scheme. I think someone said that the Great Forest is actually so fucking huge that we only have a small percentage of it right now. Yeah. Across the river? What's across the river? Who rules that place? We're so far in Dryad territory. Beyond that. Dude, this is kinda hype. The world building just expanded even more. That's crazy. I thought what we had was just all of Jura Tempest. Who's living there? What? Oh yes, because Lizardmen are so proud. You think there's a race out there that'd be willing to defy a demon lord though? Yeah, what'd your dad say? Hi! <laughs> Gabiru's dad's name his name is Abiru? <laughs> Bro just straight up just attached a letter G in front of his name and says, Alright, that's my same, Nwagamusko. <laughs> Gabiru. Oh Rimuru named him! Oh 
wait, wait. This makes way more sense because Rimuru is fucking lazy with the naming, right? He even says that. He's like, ah, shit. What are these names going to be? Uh, Gobta, uh, Gobji, Gobo, whatever. Right, right, right. So he was even lazy. He was like, okay, Gabiru. So, uh, Abiru. Fuck it. Let's go. All right. Daddy Lizard King is going to come show up soon. Yo! Okay, in the beginning, who do we have? We had the Storm Wolves, and then we had the Lizardmen, and then we had the Orcs and Goblins. That was like the base four races. But now, boom! Minotaur, horse people? Holy shit. Bunny girl, bu 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 bunny people, and insect like bee people, bro? Just a kid? Tengu. Tengu and kid. Okay, anything more? This is pretty much hinting what the future races are beyond the river, huh? Hold okay. Up. All right. That's actually pretty hype. But what, what, what's the little kid, though? Like, like, like okay. I, I get... I, I pretty much understand everything here. What the fuck is this little kid? The, the, the ears is point, kind of pointy, right? The ear is kind of pointy. Is this an elf, maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh boy. We're gonna send out an announcement to the world. Behold, I am one of the Octogram. True Demon Lord Rimuru. You're welcome to show up here, but it feels like if I was like an, a different nation, I would be like so scared if I heard that I was like, holy fuck, right? We need more laborers. It's a welcome, but other people might get a wrong, you know, idea about it. Hello, meeting. This is a nostalgic soundtrack, man. Happy party, right? Uh-oh, nothing will go wrong, right? Big announcement, bro. Oh, boy, this is not gonna go well. And that's the episode. Today's episode was so in-depth about everything that's happening since, you know, the end of Season 2. And Classroom of the Elite, you know, Light Novel readers are probably crying, wishing that they could get their own series adapted like this. Full 24 episode each fucking season by default. So much yapping, though. Because, like, it's very interesting how a lot of the Tensura fans are a little bit upset because, like, there's not that much action happening. But, like... On the, on the classroom, the elite side, they're just fucking upset. Things are being rushed so much. So it's just an in interesting, like, dichotomy that's happening right now. So basically, it's just a bunch of wrap-up. But I think one of the most important things is the existence of this Tengu, right? Benny's apparently fucking Albus. And we're going to have a huge declaration. Well, well that, that here's the thing. It's not a declaration to them, right? Rimuru's saying, big announcement to say, hey... Welcome to our new home. You're free to join us if you want, because we need more laborers. But to the outside people, how would this be perceived, right? I feel like some people get intimidated or triggered or like just, I, I don't know. They, they, they might have the wrong uh, feeling about this in, in compared to what Rimuru is thinking, which may lead into pretty fun conflicts. So I'm kind of hyped for it. The, the, the forest beyond the river, though, different races really feels like the world is actually expanding more beyond what I thought. Like, I thought that Jura Tempest was just everything that we already live in. But the fact that we only control, like, a small portion of it, and beyond the river, there's even more races. Like, yo, this is getting me pretty excited for the future season. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.